Hello, welcome to Vedil Vagaparai. In this video, we are going to see ozozones of carbohydrates. Uh, this video is based on IIT JAM 2023 question. Uh, this uh, video will be useful also for people who are taking UG TRB entrance examination because this is part of the reactions of carbohydrates. So, let us see the question first. The structure of Q in the following reaction scheme is. So, there is a scheme of uh, reaction that is given here and then uh, uh, a set of options are given. So, in this uh, scheme, we see M is shown as enantiopure and it is a carbohydrate. It is a 5 carbon carbohydrate in the sense it is an aldopentose because it is having an aldehyde group and then phenylhydrazine in excess is given and it forms N. So, this is actually ozone reaction where phenylhydrazine is in excess and then on the other side we have P which also gives the same ozone N when treated with phenylhydrazine and P on reduction with the nickel catalyst it gives Q. So, the question is which among the following A, B, C, D is Q. So, we know pretty well that the aldehydes when they are reduced with the uh, nickel catalyst uh, as uh, and uh, hydrogen they will form the respective alcohols. So, in all the four options we see the aldehyde being reduced to alcohols. So, uh, we would want to know which among the four alcohols is formed from P. So, for that the clue is given that P is forming the same ozone as M. So, because uh, uh, carbohydrates are uh, and uh, you know uh, they are optically active compounds uh, that is the reason why M is given as enantiopure in the sense it is one form of the aldopentose. So, let us go uh, to the next slide to understand what is the pentose that is given here. So, let us see the aldopentoses. So, when we see the aldopentoses there are 8 different aldopentoses. But then we must remember this aldopentoses have three chiral carbons. The ones that I am marking here are the three chiral carbons of aldopentose. So, because there are three chiral carbons, it can form eight stereoisomers. So, you have four D aldopentoses and four L aldopentoses. So, the D and L are mirror image isomers which are non-superimposable. That is why they are called as enantiomers. So, D ribose and D arabinotes are diastereomers uh, and the others are diastereomers. So, now next what we would want to know is what is the So, now let us see the epimers. So, here we have all the four uh, pentoses and in these four pentoses we see ribose have all three OH on the same side. In arabinos, one of the OH is on the opposite side. That is the configuration about the OH in ribose and arabinose is different at carbon 2. So, this carbon is the second carbon and so arabinose and ribose are C2 epimers. When you compare lysose and arabinose, we see the OH is different only at the CT carbon. Whereas you see in C2 and C4, they are of the same configuration. So, arabinose and lysose are epimers at C3. Now, let us see about lysose and xylose. So, between lysose and xylose, again, if you see um, uh, the structures, the again, their configuration about third and the fourth are the same. Only they are different at the second carbon atom. So, they are also C2 epimers. So, lysose and xylose are also C2 epimers. So, understanding the structure of this pentoses and then the relationship between them will be useful for us to understand their chemical reactions. So, ribose and arabinose are C2 epimers, arabinose and lysose are C3 epimers and lysose and xylose are C2 epimers. So, now let us go to understanding ozone reaction. So, what is an ozone reaction? So, uh, this is a simple reaction which we would have studied in aldehydes and ketones. 
So carbonyl groups react with phenyl hydrazine to form phenyl hydrazone. So this is a simple, uh, you know, nucleophilic addition reaction, which then undergoes condensation reaction. So this is a very popular reaction, which we would have studied under aldehydes and ketones. So this water molecule will be removed and then we will get the hydrozone. So this is the product that is formed. So this is the phenyl hydrozone that is written here. So all carbonyl compounds will undergo reaction with phenyl hydrazine to form hydrozone. So the first step is the addition, nucleophilic addition reaction, which is then followed by condensation. So, but then in case of ozone reaction, the phenyl hydrozone that is formed will then react with extra phenyl hydrazine, okay, excess of phenyl hydrazine to form ozone molecule. Ozone molecule is the two uh, groups, uh, that is the carbonyl group and the next group, the, the hydroxyl group that is there also is being reacted by phenyl hydrazine and then it forms the hydrozone and the, the dihydrozone is also called as ozone. So in this particular reaction, we see how the aldehyde becomes the hydrozone and then the hydrozone reacts with phenyl hydrazine to form ozone and aniline and ammonia. Now let us see the ozone reaction of the hexoses. The popular hexoses that we know are glucose, fructose and mannose and all of these give the same kind of ozone. So this ozone that is formed when glucose is treated with phenyl hydrazine or mannose or fructose are treated with phenyl hydrazine gives us an idea about the configuration about the carbon atoms that is present below the alpha carbon that is the carbon next to the functional group. So we see it is marked in blue that all the carbons of glucose, fructose and mannose have the same configuration. They differ in configuration only at the alpha carbon atom. So ozone reaction is useful to identify the configuration of the carbohydrates at the alpha carbon atom. That is point one. Number two, because the carbohydrates are going to differ only at the alpha carbon atom. The structure of the carbohydrate is going to differ only at the alpha carbon atom. They are going to be epimers. And, uh, and these are all open chain structures. So all monosaccharides can undergo ozone reaction. So these are three important points to remember. First, the alpha carbon's configuration will be different in the sense ozone reaction of uh, any carbohydrate, any aldoses, if they are epimers, then the ozone will be same. That is all. So, in case of fructose, it can enolize. Because it can enolize, it can further react with phenylhydrazine like that of glucose and can form the same ozone. So, this is how ozone reaction happens and ozone is a characteristic you know, product which could be easily analyzed and it can give the identity of the carbohydrate from which it is obtained. Another important thing to remember about ozone is this is an oxidation product and in this reaction we see aniline and ammonia are also formed. So this aniline and ammonia that is formed is actually the reduction product of one of the phenyl hydrazine unit. So we see there are three equivalents of phenyl hydrazine that are used. So one equivalent is to form phenyl hydrazone. The second equivalent uh, is um, a reaction where one of the phenyl hydrazine is reduced to ammonia. And the third equivalent is again another condensation reaction. So now let's see the ozone of aldopentosis. So this is a representation for us to see that the configuration or the structure of the first and the second carbon only is important for ozone formation for all aldoses. So all the other configurations are same. 
So if it is the same, then they will all give the same ozone. That is all. So now let us look at the carbohydrates that we are studying, the 5 carbon. So when you see ribose, the configuration at the bottom, that is um, in the third and the fourth carbon atoms, are similar in case of ribose and arabinus. And they differ in configuration only at the alpha carbon. So they are ideal candidates for ozone formation. So ribose and arabinose will give the same ozone. Similarly, lysos and xylose also have the same kind of ozone because their configuration in 3 and 4 is the same. So they differ only in the C2. So lysos and xylose are C2 epimers. Ribose and arabinos are C2 epimers. So all C2 epimers and aldoses will form same ozone. In the sense, ribose and arabinos will form the same ozone. Lysos and xylose will form the same ozone. But then the ozone of ribose and arabinos will not be the same as that of lysos and xylose. So this is a different pair. This is a different pair. So now coming back to the question. So in the question, what is given here is the structure by now, I suppose all of us would have understood is arabinose. So this, this is an arabinose structure and we already saw that uh, uh, arabinose is uh, E2 epimer of ribose. So in the answer that we have, Ribo sugar will have the OH on the right hand side. So definitely P must have been ribose. So arabinose with phenylhydrazine will give ozone. Likewise ribose with phenylhydrazine also will give ozone. So now the next question is what will happen when ribose is treated with um, hydrogen and nickel catalyst? As I told you all of them will form alcohols. So now the problem is whether the structure is A or B. A is same as that of M. So definitely it cannot be A because, um, yeah, because um, we are not talking about the prod, uh, reduction of M. We are talking about reduction of P. So P must have been ribose. In the sense here we would have had CH2OH. So this CH2O, sorry, CHO, CHO, aldehyde group, sorry. This this alcohol must have been an aldehyde. So that aldehyde is ribose. So this must have been from ribose. So this must be ribose which will give, which will give the respective alcohol here. So that is the difference. So this is the aldehyde. This is also an aldehyde. So if you compare and see this is the same as M. So definitely this must be P so that we get the ribose sugar. So the answer is B. C of course cannot be the answer because it is no way significant or relevant to uh, uh, the uh, product uh, M. Uh, sorry, the reactant M. And at the same time, D is actually an L sugar. So we are talking about uh, D sugars. So an L sugar is of no connection at all. Actually C and D are mirror image isomers. So uh, we are not talking about this. So C and D can be exempted out. So in this reaction, we have seen how a pento sugar undergoes reaction with phenylhydrazine to form a ozone. And uh, what we have learnt is epimers at C2 carbon will, under, that, uh, will undergo this ozone reaction to form the same ozone. Number two, uh, epimers that that is aldoses that differ in alpha carbon atom. Configuration about alpha carbon atom will also give the same ozone. Thirdly, the configuration of rest of the molecule must be same. So these are some of the parameters which we must keep in mind to understand ozone products of a reaction of carbohydrates with phenylhydrazine. I hope you understood. Thank you.